Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yes, look at that. Oh damn. Definitely another cool addition to any collector. What's up guys and welcome back to another epic unboxing, a legit unboxing, a package we received today from Konami. Yes, obviously from the title below or above, I forget where it is right now, but it is of course that Dark Vision Girl metal placket card. Yes, we're gonna open it in today's video. But of course, we're gonna do more than just that. We're obviously gonna open up a couple of these um, mini boxes of the Infinite Forbidden. This of course uh, only has, I think, I think four packs and one token card each. And it could be one of five token cards, as you can see in the rear here. Um, let's see if we can get the cool ones, I guess. But uh, yeah, I pretty much want these three right here. Yugi. Oh, Chaz, right? It was Chaz. I don't know why I was thinking Prince. And uh, Asuka. Yeah. Yeah, for, I want these three right here. But uh, yeah, I, I saw a bunch of these in Walmart, so might as well check it out. But before we get there, guys, before we get there, let's open up this bad boy, or I should say bad girl inside this box. I was actually surprised it came in this early. I thought it was going to be like, I don't know, maybe like a month or two later. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just I, I ordered this, I think, last week and they already delivered it. They already delivered it, which is pretty dang amazing. See if I can fit this under my camera. All right. Ooh. Oh yeah. All right, let's go ahead and take out this box. I think that's nothing else inside, right? Not that we care about. They don't, they don't accidentally put like packs in here. No, no extra packs. Right here. Check that out. Stainless steel card, Dark Machine Girl, Yu-Gi-Oh! Twin card from Konami. I'll, I want to, I want to see how much they limited to it. I'll, they, I'll let me talk about it in the website. All right, it does say here, here that each copy is numbered, making a truly unique collectible item or collector's item. Um, it doesn't say how much they're making though. I don't know, I guess we'll find out what number I got. So, but uh, yeah, this is the, the rear of it. 15 plus years apparently. All right, anyway, let's uh, get on with it. I love this case though. I really do. It makes it feel like prestigious, you know what I mean? Like, like it isn't like, how do I explain it? it it's definitely cardboard, obviously, but it's, uh, the, the, the color of it makes it feel like it's, you know, luxury, like a luxury item. Um, I think you're gonna, uh, they were selling this for about 169 euros. Uh, which I don't know what that translates to in US dollars. Obviously, my editor will have the US dollar equivalent. But according to the website, they, they're, they're distributing this in more than 80 countries and nine different languages. Worldwide release. Oh, yes. That's cool. They have a little stand similar to the, uh, to the whatchamacallit, to the, the blue eyes I got in the background right there. So that's cool. There it is right here in the side. Get that stand. Oh, oh, oh yes, look at that. Oh damn. Now I missed that on the Dark, Dark Magician, as well as I believe the God cards also had their own plaque as well, collectible plaques. But uh, yeah, this is definitely, definitely another cool addition to any collector. Gonna have my fingerprints all over it, fantastic. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Stainless steel, where's the number at? They said they're numbered. I'm guessing it's that, 1422 US. So 1,422 US, so maybe they limit it to like 2,000? I don't know. I'm not sure how many are US, how many are European, how many are Japanese, stuff like that. I mean, uh, Australian, French, German, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, that is the card right there. The bunch of reflection, which I do apologize for. Let me see if I can show up in this frame here. 
but there is a bunch of reflection on it. Not as big as I thought. Uh, I'll, I'll get the other plaque for the uh, for the blue eyes, and you can kind of like compare and contrast those sizes. Obviously, this comes with you know three cards, so that's probably definitely why it's bigger. But the one thing I did notice that's interesting is on the uh, blue eyes one, it's gold pins, where this one is more silver pins. I kind of wish it was gold. Kind of wish it was gold. In the bottom. In the bottom of this, it has the 20th anniversary gold. In the bottom of this is just the Yu-Gi-Oh logo. So it doesn't have the 20th anniversary. So it's not specific to the 20th anniversary. So I kind of wish it has the label 20th anniversary, um, but it is what it is. And these cars, of course, look like to be uh, secret rares, whereas this one is more like ultra rare. If that makes any sense, but yeah. But compare, compare to size, Obviously, is kind of like half the size of it. Yeah, about half the size, I'll say. When it comes to this dimension, a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter at the top, as you can see there. So it shows you, and of course, the weight of it. Like that's the that's a real big factor for me as a collector is the weight of it. And this weight feels legit. This 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 is like decently maybe I don't know five pounds maybe. This one feels about three pounds, maybe two pounds. It might, even, it, might, it might even be seven pounds because this one is definitely hefty. Um, but yeah, add it to my collection, of course, as you do as a collector. The only issue right now, of course, is uh, where are we gonna put it? I'm kind of running out. Of, I could probably put it on the left side with my Magician's Force uh, packs, which uh, my first edition uh, Magician Force packs. So maybe that makes the most sense because for those that know this card originally came out in Magician's Force. So yes. I wonder if there's anybody gonna, gonna try to grade this. Obviously, you would hope that it's perfectly centered and it appears to be, it appears to be perfectly centered and that's what you look for. Look at that gloss. Look at that shiny gloss. It's very hard to see it because of the, the, the freaking reflections. Oh, you know what? Wait, is that Holy Perfect 2? No, it's not, okay. I thought, I thought the border here for the text was also hollow, similar to like the, uh, Seek rares, uh, pl uh, platinums, but uh, yeah, it doesn't appear to be so. I think it's just a plain, uh, plain ultra rare. And if you do want to, you know, get the pins or whatever, you basically have to just unscrew this, insert the pin inside. You know, unscrew this probably and insert the pins. Screw it in. But definitely gonna never open this. Keep that pristine. Get that, uh, make sure it, it never becomes dusty. Never touches a, a flake of dust. All right, there you have it, guys. It's right there on the right side. Not sure if you can see that. Maybe do a zoom in or something like that, but yes. And I will keep this somewhere because uh, as a collector, you want to keep all items included with a, with a set like this. So that way, if you do decide to resell in the future, you have all the pieces that they need for a complete collection. Cause obviously if I was to buy this in the future, you want all the pieces. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm missing the, I'm missing this, or I'm missing the manual, or I'm missing the box. So you have to keep all of it as pristine as possible. That's why I still have the, the steel case as well of the, uh, the blue eyes collector's editions. And one thing I did notice, especially as I'm collecting a lot of my Super Nintendo uh, boxes, when it comes to like, manuals, is making sure the paper, there's no fold in the paper because that, that can actually devalue the collector set as well. So try to keep it as pristine as possible. Now, granted, this came like it, but uh, I guess this would be video proof in the future, I guess. That uh, yes, it came like this. And then that way it is usable for a resale. But would I, re would I sell this? Maybe, but definitely not anytime soon. All right, guys, so now moving on to the packs of the Infinite Forbidden, one of the latest sets from Yu-Gi-Oh! Getting those collectible uh, anime token cards and four packs. Uh, we still have yet to pull anything too great from this set. But yeah, there's still quite a few cards on here that we still haven't gotten. Uh, the Friendship, uh, I can see Friendship, the Fiend Smiths Engraver. Uh, $245.88, still going high there. The second highest card, of course, we only pulled that one in Secret Rare, but the quarter century rare version is, of course, the Merc Charmy uh, Perilia at $132.87. And 
And the third eyes, which is actually kind of surprising, is actually the Fiend Smith Engraver, the Secret Rare version, at $116.13. Uh, so uh, before, it was actually the uh, seller of the Blight Forest before, holding a, the number three spot, but that one seems to have dropped down in value, um, at least below the top three. But yeah, let's see if we can pull those. And uh, yeah, and I'll um, see what kind of cards we get. I was actually very surprised they actually had this in Walmart. So I was like, ooh, they had like, I think there was a lot more, I only, but I only grabbed three. So I was, I, was, I, was, I was surprised. I thought about grabbing all of it, but I was like, I should probably save some for the kids. You know what I mean? It's like freaking adults grabbing all the collectible cards away from the kids. But uh, I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? I don't know. I feel, I feel like it's not right. You know, it should be enjoyed by everyone, especially the kids. All right. So nothing fantastic there. So let's go ahead and open this. All right. There's the packs. Perfecto Elemento. All right. And then um, let's go ahead and op open all of them and then we can see what, the, what, what promo cards we get. And then we'll open all the packs. All right. So those are the packs. Now, the one thing I was kind of confused about, maybe you, can, you guys can educate me in the comments, but... Uh, I didn't think uh, Yu-Gi-Oh had like mini packs like this, especially for like the main booster sets. Is that a new thing? I don't know. But uh, normally they had the full booster box, as you guys know, as well as the blisters, but never a mini box like that. I mean, for certain sets, maybe like the, uh, what's it called? Uh, Magnificent Mavens, maybe? But never like like that. I don't know. Educate me, guys. Educate me. But anyway, let's, let's look at the, uh, the booster, uh, sorry, the token cards. First one is, yes, my first one I don't want it. Yugi Moto, or I guess Yami Yugi in this case. Number two is, ooh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Chaz. Um, will I get all the three, the three that I want? That'd be, that'd be funny, but yes. And then the next one is Chaz again, crap. All right, so I got to duplicate Chaz. But which one has better centering? Looks like this one has better center, centering. Top, top left, top, top, bottom, left, right. Compared to this one where you, you guys can see it's kind of skinny in top and then kind of fat in the bottom. So top to bottom centering is off. Left to right is fine. But top to bottom is way off. All right, anyway, let's go to the packs. Let's do this. All right. Let's see if we get anything cool here. Valmonica, Vasper, that's 10. The Woes, TPH, White Forest, the Gimmick Puppet, and a Super Rare. Oh, sorry, Ultra Rare. Okay, this is a new card to my collection. Nice. This Sil How. Sil it's almost like Silhouette, but Sil How Let. Sil, Sil How Let trick. All right, let's see what this value is. All right, not great at all. There's a quarter century version of this, which is decently priced, but this one is only. 54 cents so that is pretty bad for an ultra rare remember when ultra rares used to mean something guys what, what is happening with the world all right next one it seems like if you, if you don't get at least a secret nowadays it's like worthless like ultra rares used to be like pretty decent um and then of course secret rares was the the highest of the rarities but it's like back in the day of course back my day the new the trap gatherer Oops, I keep doing that. Uh, the Moon of Clothes, Salvation, the, the Fiend's Reflection, the Fiend Smith's Sanch, the Millennium Puzzle of Treasure of the Golems, I guess, yeah. Okay, we have a super rare here, the Soul Card, Soul Exchange. There's actually a, a spell card, Monster Reborn as well, which I, I kind of want to get. That's kind of a cool card. I don't think this was worth pricing out, but for clarity, or completion, I guess. Let's check out the price. Oh, we didn't check the, check out the value on the, on the token cards, which I'll do in a moment. Uh, this one is only 22 cents. So for the Yuki card, uh, the Yuki token card, that was, why is that showing up here? There's no, did, did no one pull it yet? Because the Chaz card here is, ooh, that's actually really good for, <laughs> for Chaz. <laughs> $3.92 for Chaz. What? But I don't see one for Yugi. What the hell? Where's Yugi? Okay, I'm about to look this up. One second, guys. Wow. So there is a there's a whatnot um, available, which I'll, I I kind of want to talk about whatnot a little bit at the end of this video as well. 
Um, but uh, they're trying to sell this one for thirty dollars. That's actually kind of insane. And this one about fourteen dollars. So fourteen euros and 90, 90 pence, whatever they call it. So there's actually not a lot of like sources on here. Is this one hard to get or something? I don't know. Let me know in the comments because if this is worth like three six bucks or twenty bucks, that's pretty good. But uh, I'm happy I got it. And also centering on is pretty damn good too. Top to bottom is a little bit off though. Not gonna lie. But still a good card. But I, I don't have a definitive price on it. But um, if I'm doing the editing or doing the revision of the edits from Alexander. Alexander. Then um, I'll probably list the price of that when I'm doing my revisions. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see a price on it as of this recording. It's been out for a while too, so it's not like a, it won't be available yet. But anyway, back to the packs. Back to the packs. But yeah, as I'm talking about whatnot, <clears throat> I did start a whatnot account. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll be doing my first live stream from there, um, but I have a couple ideas of what I want to do for my first whatnot stream. But if you guys want to check that out, I do have a link in the description of my whatnot account, so definitely follow me there. Um, any cards I pull from my whatnot account, of course, are going for sale. Mostly the higher rarities because most people don't really care about comments per se, but I may list it as well. I don't know, um, but for sure, ultra rare and above, I'm going to be, you know, selling in my whatnot account. Uh, so super rare is probably, I probably won't put that in my whatnot account unless it's a crazy super rare. But this is not one. And exactly why? Only 16 cents. With the amount of shipping for like cards, no, no one's gonna buy a $16 card and pay two, three dollars in shipping. Unless you're insane in a membrane. All right, let's do this. All right, with the Vesper, the gimmick puppet, little soldiers, Sylvie, the broomy. The Fiendship Les Crema, the Matter Forwarder, DPH, uh, the Press Part, and a super rare of the G Gimmick Puppet Fantastic Machinists. Nix. Okay, I don't think this was worth much from the last recording I did. This was only 17 cents. 17 times the details or disappointments. Come on, give me something good. All right, let's do this. Mansion, the Marco Creation, the Dora Dora, the Guardian of the Voices Voice, Met Madoche Desert, the Daichan, the Gaming Puppy Rogue Doll, the uh, Kato Scream, and a super rare, although of this weird pronunciation. Of, but yeah, probably nothing either. 18 times, or 18 cents. All right, we still got a decent amount of packs still left, so. All right, here we go. The uh, Hina Masura Suri, the Light N, that's 10 again. The Sylvie, the Rukia, the Aerial Eater, the Fiend's Reflection, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Salvation. And, oh, we got this one already. God dang it. A duplicate? No! A duplicate ultra rare. 54 cents for this duplicate. God dang it. That's depressing. I still haven't pulled that other Exodia support card. I pulled the trap card, I think, in the previous video, but not the, uh, the I think it's a fusion card. Uh, I kind of want to pull that one as well. That, that one should be easier to get, I think. You would think over like a, a quarter century, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. All right, Zapper. The Rusia, Rusia. Kimmy Puppet. Kato Cattle, the Fiend's Reflection, and a Madochi Queen, Tiara ta uh, Facade or Phaser. Looks cute. It's very cute, actually. Fairy type, Link Monster. But is it worth money as a collector? No, it is not. <laughs> At 18 cents. Oh my god. So far, nothing great from the main packs. This one feels heavy. I don't know why, but it feels heavy. Feels bulky, that's what it was. All right, three and one. Broomy, uh, Madoche Mini, Cosmic Tree, Paralyzing Mushroom, 
the League of Uniform Nomenclatures, uh, Dip Dipsy Affine, the Sinch, and a super rare only of the Obl Obliterate Blaze. Okay, so this is another support card for the. Uh, so I thought I thought there was only the trap card and the fusion card or whatever, but there's actually a magic card too. So yeah, I, I kind of want to read this one real, real quick. Uh, one level ten or higher monster on the field with Exodia in its original name, in its original name, gained these effects. Number one. You can pay half your life points, destroy as many cards in your spell and trap zone as possible, then equip five Forbidden One monsters from your hand and or deck to this card as equipped spells that uh, that each that, that each give its 2,000 attack. Wow! <laughs> or, and it's a quick quick play too, or if this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent. That is actually crazy. Okay. That is actually really good. I don't think it's worth much though, but that's a decent effect. But you have to have a, a level 10 or higher monster on the field with Exodia in its original name to gain these effects. So that might be kind of hard to do. Maybe. I don't know. And it is only 15 cents. That's probably why it's called uh, Obliterate because, like, if you if you do any of these effects, it seems like an auto win. It feels like it should be an auto win. All right, come on, let's get a quarter century rare here. Delmonica, Dora, Dora, Guardian, Gimmick Puppet, Lucia, Aerial Eater, Fees Reflection, and the card that we kind of saw briefly. And it's I, I don't even want to price this one, guys. I don't even want to price it. Probably not even worth anything, but the editor, of course, got my back on that. All right, three packs left, guys, and we pulled, we haven't pulled anything significant, which is kind of unfortunate. Kind of unfortunate. That might be why it was so cheap. Because I, I think at Walmart, was, there was something for like 15 bucks. Which is not insane in the membrane. All right, three and one. Cosmic Tree. Guardian. Leviosa. Sleepy, Co uh, Cosmo Queen, DPH, oops, Paralyzing Mushroom, and a Fiend Smith's Desiree. Not much, I think. This one is 19 cents. Wow, nothing great at all. I mean, the one thing I will say, it, it'll at least complete my collection a bit more. Uh, and there were there were some cool cards from the Infinite Forbidden, but. Uh, you know, we have yet to pull any quarter centuries from this set. Okay, I think that was four. All right. Three and one. Cosmic Tree. Guardian. Sleepy again. Cosmic Queen. Feels like a, a, a copy and paste. Paralyze a mushroom. And. Oh, damn it. Super rare of the magic color doll soul, I guess. 13 cents, so that is crappy. That is crappy. All right, final pack, guys. Final pack magic. Press a like for luck. All right. Come on, give me something. Give me a secret rare, at least. Something. If I don't, if I don't pull anything from this, it obviously shows that uh, they don't they don't really put any cool cards in those mini boxes, so it it almost makes it feel like it's not worth getting the mini boxes. I mean, you might get lucky, but so far, like I haven't seen anything that was like worth getting, except if you, if you want those toad. I feel like those toad cards is what is what really is the one you want to get. Uh, yeah, so nothing great there at all, and we already priced that one out. So really, the, the only card that was worth money, which is kind of crazy, is the token cards. So I guess if you really want the token cards, go get it. It's uh, there's five different token cards. Obviously, we only pulled two right now, but uh, this one is the one to, to get, I guess. Um, again, I, I figured out the price when I actually see it, but yeah, nothing crazy there. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed it, definitely check out this video right here of the other unboxing of the Infinite Forbidden. And of course, thank you for those who do check that out for the algorithm. And of course, like this video for the Dark Girl Metal Card. Love you guys. My name is Talos. Peace.